that's under the trailer. It's out by my car. That's the front side of the trailer. Now something just came down through there and uh, shook the trailer when it did. I don't see anything now. Cat. Well, that was a very quiet night. Uh, no knocking, no voices, no sound, no power problems, pretty much nothing. Um, so I decided to, you know, get up in the morning and sit down and have breakfast and contemplate uh, as to what was happening here at the trailer. Some very strange things had happened, but were they individual events that just happened at the same time? Or were they related? It's kind of hard to tell at this point. So let's look at them one by one. The power outages. I've been hearing a lot about solar flares and solar problems in the area. So it's a possibility that we could have uh, experienced some solar problems uh, causing our electricity to go out and our batteries to be drained. However, each one of those events, including the strange lights in the sky, the lights on the ground, and the plasma discharge through the chicken wire, happened at night. Um, we're still scratching our heads on these. The next thing to consider is the knocking on the door. Something trying to gain access to the trailer, yanking on the door. The voices the strange noises, the growling, um, all of this kind of stuff. That uh, kind of leads us in three directions. Is it a uh, spiritual type manifestation? Is it a Bigfoot type creature? Or is it just people, human beings there trying to scare us off the property? If they're human beings, they're or a Bigfoot type creature they're very good at dodging the cameras uh, they stayed out of way of being able or of me being able to film them and one thing that I did particularly notice is this last night I had the system built up to where cameras were watching cameras and there was no beating the system and nobody came to play nothing happened so if they were Bigfoot or human beings they were very adept at not leaving their footprints they were very conscious about their footprints with the exception of the one night on the little dirt knoll in front of the the water tower where I was able to cast 13 footprints now these footprints looked human 
and they were in, within the human size and range, three different sets of prints. However, this area is covered with lava rock, and it was freezing cold, and we're out in the middle of nowhere. So somebody's going to pull a hoax by coming in and pulling off their shoes and running around in the dirt? And that's uh, something to consider. So could it be something in the spiritual realm? Possibly hauntings or something like that. Well, we have seen face reflections in the aluminum on the trailer. There, the ghosts have been known to be able to do plasma discharges and stuff like that. Uh, recently, we have caught faces in the windows, and uh, some of those windows were blocked off to the inside due to it being prepared for winter. Uh, but yet, you see a face or reflection in that. Um, so there is a possibility that something is going on there however it's not manifesting itself directly and it's not appearing on the cameras and going back to the strange lights on that one particular night uh, I received several uh, comments uh, that people say that uh, UFOs had been spotted in the Sholo area uh, quite regularly in the last couple of nights. Um, so could we be seeing UFOs? Could this be uh, aliens running around the trailer? Um, you know, we should have captured them on film, but we didn't. Um, or could it be just uh, heat causing the trailer to bend and pop or uh, cooling down or something like that? I have consulted with many of my Native American friends and I am told that this is not the place of a burial ground and it probably is not the place of a, a battle unless it was very, very ancient. However, one of them told me all about skinwalkers, how to become a skinwalker, what skinwalkers do, and she's very concerned that this may be three skinwalkers. So our conclusion is, is we don't really know what's causing the events at the trailer, and we will continue to investigate them. However, we have decided that the occupant or the owner of the trailer and his cats are in no apparent danger, no real danger. We have fortified the door to where it won't be yanked open by any kind of a creature uh, unless he's got a can opener. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're, we're pretty sure he's safe and he's going to continue living there. He will be calling me again if the activity picks up and I will head up there again and we will try to figure this mystery out.